Hello folks, and um, sorry if you didn't hear me for a quick second there. <coughs> quick second there. Well, I guess it's hello everyone to another day. Um, I believe it is uh, the 11th of April 2020. Here we episode 55, and hello everybody. It is one day before Easter. Kind of a weird Easter because we're all kind of stuck in our houses a little bit and uh you know we're not moving around um but i will obviously say happy easter tomorrow because i usually do to the holidays so yeah guys um thought i'd do things a little bit differently um so it's about 11 19 ish i'll probably be here for about I don't know, 15, 20 minutes if I, if I, if I do so, please. Um, uh, yeah. Hey guys. Um, it's another one of these. Uh, I hope you guys had a good week. Um, well, I hope you guys survived another week because of the, all this craziness, um, and everything. Um, I hope you guys just, I hope we all just, uh, hunker down, um, uh, stay safe, social distance and all this other um, all these other measures. Um, I hope you, I told them all of those essential workers out there that are putting their lives on the line. Um, we just got through another week and another day. Um, it's, um, it's, it's scary that, uh, I'm, it's just scary in the last 30 days that, um, last 30 days that I've, I've figured it out that I've worked, uh, close to six days a piece, um, every single week, um, for five weeks, I've worked like 30, um, I've worked close to 30 days. I've, I've, you know, I've worked close to 30 some odd days. So, um, yeah, six times five is 30. Yeah. So six times five is 30. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's 30, yeah, 6 and 5, yeah, 30, 30 ish days. Um, so yeah, I've worked six days a week and it's, it's been, it, you know, it's been, it's been a long, you know, tomorrow I get to rest because it's Easter Sunday. Um, it's a kind of be a weird Easter Sunday because not a lot of people are going to be traveling and seeing family. Mostly people are going to be staying indoors mostly. So, having you know just spending time with family so if there's one thing I, if there's one message i want to speak tomorrow everybody spend time with your family cherish it friends and cherish it and everything because if there's one thing that this virus is doing it's keeping us close um and you know it's also keeping families close um, friends are talking a little bit more even on the phone, even though we can't hang out. Um, it's good. I got all my hangouts done. My hangouts with my friends, uh, Tom and Megan for this thing hit big time. So, um, I'm actually happy that a month ago and four weeks ago that I actually hung out with Tom and Megan at the movies so we could, um, actually we hung out for the movies with both of them. So both of them. So, um, and, um, you know, it's, I think it was a good thing. Um, it's good. I did, um, because we never knew when this thing was going to hit and it's good. I said yes to both, both occasions. Um, so yeah, if there's one thing, um, I'll have to do, I'll have to obviously, you know, uh, Jean, um, one of my cousins is adding her store on Facebook. Um, uh, actually, um, my cousin Allie is actually a teacher, so she's actually sidelined in all this, all this commotion. Um, you know, um, we're going to do a Zoom conference meeting tomorrow, and uh, it'll be good because we're not going to be able to talk to each other face-to-face. -face. Usually, we go over to my Uncle Mike's house, and uh, we usually have Easter celebration there. Unfortunately, because of 
this menace that we're trying to combat. Um, can't do that. Obviously, this is the next best thing, and thanks to technology, we can do that. Um, you know, it's it's a great thing, technology. I'll have to zoom. All. Um, it's something I want to discover because you know, maybe Zoom can be a platform for me later um, and everything else. So, you know, it's it's one of those things that might might be a future endeavor, wink, wink, um, and everything else. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, you know, it's I'll obviously I'll try to shoot my episode early tomorrow um, before I have dinner and everything. Actually, I may shoot early in the morning. I'm going to shoot a vlog at 11, like maybe 10, 10, 30 tomorrow morning is going to be super rare. And it's going to be the first time ever that I've shot a vlog at 10 o'clock, um, probably or, or 1130 or whenever it's going to be. Um, but I will tell you this guys, you know, um, you know, it's all good and everything, but enough about the dreariness, enough about that. Um, I just want to say that, uh, I just want to weigh in on a couple of things that I kind of missed, although I should have honored, um, although I should have, uh, honored these, uh, these passings. So I think it was like three, I know I'm late to the party. Sorry. Uh, for you James Bond fans out there, um, I just wanted to say, um, rest in peace, honor Blackman. If you, if, um, I heard that she passed away, uh, she passed away, to, uh, not today, but a couple of days ago, age of 94. Uh, she was one of the Bond girls from, um, Goldfinger and, um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's actually quite funny. 1964, when the movie came out, pretty high brow with her name for those of you who do not know on blackman is the 100 percent and hopefully 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 um i may not put this as a kid video um unfortunately i may put but um i uh, i just want to say that uh honor blackman of course played the very famous bond girl pussy galore for those who for those of you who grew up with the Bond movies back in the 60s, you guys will know how highbrow that name was. Um, and uh, <laughs> a lot of a lot of guys had fun with that one back in the 60s. Um, a lot of people didn't think that that would have gone past um, gone past the censors, but it did. So um, uh, she did actually. Um, yeah, so Honor Blackman, uh, whoever you are, wherever you are, rest in peace, your soul. Um, legendary actress and very good one. Um, I saw her in Goldfinger, maybe something else, but um, but she's, you know, she's well known throughout the world uh, in uh, the Bond movie lore. I do not know <laughs> if I'm going to uh, get... Um, I do not know if I'm going to get hit off YouTube for saying her movie name, but it was just one of those things. When I first watched the movie, I was like, wow. Um, somewhat, I knew what the terminology was back then, but, you know, kind of funny, kind of disturbing, but that <laughs> was one thing we couldn't say in school. So, And we had this uh, rule in school where we couldn't be vulgar, so... Um, but you know, back then it was pretty, pretty much testing the limits. Um, so I'm going to hold, uh, 30 second rest in peace for Honor Blackman. Um,
Okay. All right. I just wanted to do a rest in peace for Ronald Blackman because I didn't cover it. And um, I just wanted to uh, just say that because I, I know it's a couple of days. I know, I'm, I know I'm late to the party, but I want to say RIP, rest in peace to Ronald Blackman. Um, of course, you know. Um, so, yeah, it was just it's just one of those things. Um, but, yeah, uh, it's... That's one other thing. Another thing I have to say is um, I just want to touch touch base upon this. Um, right now, um, there is a um, right now. There's uh, quite the right now. I um, I told you guys that I. I was talking to you guys last night um, in the last episode, episode 54. This is episode 55, I think. Oh, yeah, it's episode 55. Um, whether I am uh, going to uh, resume gameplay with my um, with my uh, phone and everything, I don't know about it because it's... Um, because it's got to attract views in order for me to do it. And I did a mic test and everything. And, you know, it's just one of those things. So, um, so that's one other thing I wanted to say. And now I'm going to get into the main stretch of the whole video. All right. I just want to just say a public announcement out here. And I just want to say what I need to say. But. Um, say what I need to say. It's not about the virus. It's not about this. Um, I just want to talk about, um, a few things. Well, one big topic. Um, you know, recent, in recent times, um, in recent times, you know, uh, I, um, I told you guys about, that, um, about my, yeah, work related stuff. I haven't talked about work in a while. Um, I've talked, talked to you guys about some of the situations. Um, so in the last month or so, um, we've had to all, uh, change our performance and, um, kind of pick up our performances up a little bit. And, um, you know, the amount of change that a team has had to go through in order to accommodate everything, like my team at 2258, um, the amount of flexibility and the amount of uh, teamwork that we're showing um, is awesome. Um, I couldn't ask for a better team. Um, and... Uh, it's really, it's, uh, you know, it's working, you know, it, the people have really stepped up to the plate. I noticed and everything, a lot of people in my store say, oh, some people are pulling their weight. People aren't doing this individual effort. When you're trying to fight, when you're trying to, in tough times like this, individual effort, an individual production does matter, but if it, but the team has to do well. So, you know, over the last couple of months, I've been trying to figure out a way to boost my performance and boost this, boost that. I'm actually doing better than I did a couple of months ago. Um, I'm going to say around October, November, December, um, my, we noticed productivity was dropping. And people, people just weren't pulling their weight and people were just getting, um, really too heavy on certain things. So what I did is what I did in order to drop, drop any excess, uh, mental weight or anything. So what I've done is I had to completely, I think it was around, November, December, that I had to completely rework what I was, what my thought process was. And I had to stop getting political because 
it wasn't going to help me. Um, the politics were changing at work, so I couldn't really do anything with it. Um, I've, I've already, uh, had my flurry in team politics and it's very tough. Um, it's not easy. Um, and, um, it's just one of those things that, uh, you really don't want to mess with, or at some point you just want to back out of, um, I did what I needed to do mid to early late last year, but I needed to rework everything. I needed to, uh, I needed to drop my political influence. I needed to drop my, uh, I needed to rework my thinking and my mindset in order to uh, do this because, and it's good I did because um, I'm helping the team so much better with this. And my, my, my performance is increasing because I'm not weighed down by, um, I'm not putting a limit on myself or anything. I'm not restricting myself to a certain pace. I'm just going all out. Um, I feel that this is the purest I've, this is my purest form. This is my purest me in a long time. I don't think I've seen this since 2013, 2014 ish, uh, 2015 ish when I was in school and doing all this other stuff. And, um, and I think it's because, um, my experience is good, but sometimes experience can hinder you because sometimes you'll see things in a little, in a little differently and sometimes you'll make judgments a little differently. Um, it would be more if I made decisions with more confidence rather than more, uh, rather than shoving my experience around and my seniority around and everything like that. So I've ditched the seniority thing because everybody's on a level playing field where I am at the moment in this virus is so mentally as well as emotionally, I just want to be even keel because it'll help me judge things a little bit better. And it's not, and I've kind of seen that the way my, my other manager had me run things and uh, have my mindset is that, you know, I was going, I was in control, but then I saw what was happening and saw that orders is saw that the process slash, uh, was really hindering, um, everybody's motivation, everybody's productivity. And it wasn't really doing all that well after that. So I had to rethink, re reconstruct what was going on. And I feel that these changes are better. It has cost me a little bit. Um, but I think the, but I think the, uh, the cost of changing and reforming is so much better. Um, I feel pure. I feel more natural. I don't feel, um, in, in weighted down by, um, political influence, I'm able to be pure, un, unadulterated, and just myself again. Um, because, you know, if, and a lot of people don't know that when we started, when I started the process last year in market, January, February, a lot of people didn't know that that was in place. Um, when our other manager left, that left with him and it sort of gave me a chance to rewrite things and start over again. Well, not start over, but um, start with with what I had, and then build up a newer version and bring back and bring back some old elements. And I think that's helping me with the team. I'm I'm positive. Um, I'm a little bit better vocally with everything and I'm actually taking a lot of trouble seriously. So let's say, um, so let's say April is a problem. Um, usually be like, Oh, it'll solve itself. And I'll, I'll sit there and I'll go, no, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to solve itself. You have to do this. You have to do that. And you, and you have to, and you have to really, really show, you know, that you're just going to sit there and go, oh, this will be easy in two seconds. 
it's almost like you got to almost go in and make the changes yourself. So, and you can't expect uh, just things just to happen. So that's my piece. And that's my broadcast for today. Everybody in America, stay safe, distance yourselves, stay clean, apply the hand sanitizer about a gazillion times because it's going to be your friend, soap and water as well, gloves, masks. They're all going to be our friends for until this thing goes. And when this thing does go, it'll all be a distant memory. Everybody, America, stay strong. We'll get through this. Sends the broadcast for the night. Peace.